Greens from the Black Country guys, back again with another vlog. This time we're going over into Birmingham. So first off, let me show you what coins we're looking we at. We are today. going out and about looking at the Commonwealth Game coins today. So first off we have Northern Ireland with a mintage figure of 485,500. We have Wales with 588,500. Scotland with 771,750. And then England with 650,500. So these are four of the rarest coins that are actually in circulation at the moment. But why are we going into Birmingham? Because this is all leading up to my favourite coin of the year. So let's get going. Birmingham and as you come up towards the library you can see the town has started to decorate in preparation for the games which start in a little over a week. And of course, this is the Birmingham Library where you can see the geometric designs which is on the Commonwealth Games 50p. So I really, really enjoy how they have made the design here actually part of the coin and you know what's in the library so let's go and press a bit. Also gone for the Birmingham library today. Our penny. Just thought it'd be nice to get a shot of our Birmingham Library Press penny with our Commonwealth Games 50p. So right opposite the library, there's absolutely massive, massive Commonwealth Games pop-up stores come. So when, maybe when the queue's gone down, and uh, actually there's some people graduated today from Birmingham University and they're all taking photos right outside so it's quite hard for me to get in but hopefully hopefully I can get in and show you what's inside In Birmingham, there's still a lot of work going towards the Commonwealth Games. It's absolutely stunning. They've made a little garden. Carry the bull on top.
detail in it is absolutely stunning. Just a little fact that where that feature is, well, I've just showed you. This is called, well, it's affectionately known as Pigeon Park. And when we were younger, little rockers and emos, this is where we used to come and hang out. So, just a little fact there for you. Locate this if you're out and about in Birmingham. It is under, well, it's in Pigeon Park by the Birmingham Cathedral. So, this is the original official Birmingham Commonwealth Games store. And I think, if I remember correctly, there's Perry waving at us. <laughs> oh, no, it's take to the But there is. Some tiny little perries, so let's go and buy us out. I'll show you the famous Birmingham book. So hot in today, so milkshake break. A week later of me getting this Commonwealth game video because there's a lot of graduations going on so we're going up to just get a few more bits and pieces that I think I may have missed but in true British fashion last week it was absolutely scorching and today it's raining so it is where it is and we'll see what we can find this season.
Flags of a Nation bag exchange and these are being held up outside the library so they're literally flags of the nations of the Commonwealth designed to look like pin badges which is pretty cool Obviously, some countries we know there because of our coins. Oh, this is really, really cool. There you go, Calais, Scotland. <laughs> This is pretty awesome. I've seen that these are really cool that they've been designed to look like pin badges. I just thought, I just thought but this is new, this is new in so so it's really cool. Also we have this statue here, which is new. called the Secret Garden and you get this amazing rooftop view of Birmingham. It's just stunning. I mean, you can see the miles up there. It's gone. Beautiful, beautiful place. And of 
Pulse. I wasn't allowed to film inside the Commonwealth Games store and they also didn't have any coins or tokens there which is quite bizarre but let's continue our journey we've located the penny machine in Birmingham Library the Birmingham Museum again but unfortunately it's out of order but these are the penny things. Perry, <laughs> this is what I bought from the Commonwealth Games shop. This is Perry, the official 2022 mascot, and he's called Perry after Perry Bar, which is a little town in Birmingham. And I think it was the local schools, all the local schools around the area in Birmingham got um, to choose the name of the Commonwealth Game mascot. And he is lovely, he's so cute. And you know me, I cannot resist a plushie. Had to get him. So we are back at the desk, guys. If you've watched this far into the vlog, thank you so, so much. I've had so much fun doing this vlog and I've really enjoyed putting it together. Um, 
if it has all gone to plan, <laughs> this is being released on the 28th, the day that the Commonwealth Games is opening. So let me show you my Commonwealth Game coins. So obviously you saw in the vlog that I went and pressed the Birmingham Library Penny again. And just for going out and about, I did just get a normal change checker bunk because obviously being put in and out of my handbag, I didn't want anything that was going to get bashed about. We have the normal standard bunk with the blurb on the back there and I thought I had just brought um, a normal standard coloured bunk and of course this is me isn't it so of course I didn't just buy a normal standard coloured bunk. I actually brought Team Scotland. So then, of course it was going to annoy me, but I hadn't got England, Wales or Northern Ireland. So I ordered those three. I'd ordered them five weeks ago. And I was waiting and waiting and waiting. So I emailed, um, well, I phoned up the Raw Mint and they said that it hadn't been sent through because they was on back order. And I was like, oh, okay, yep, that's fine. Uh, thanks for letting me know, sort of thing. Strangely enough, pretty much that evening, I had an email to come through say that my order was on its way. So the others arrived. So we have on Team Scotland, we have, you can see it here, this beautiful little thistle privy mark. On Team Ireland, the privy mark, we have the Oster hand there. I've just shot the penny across the table. <laughs> Team Wales. We have the Prima, such a cute little one. We have the Prima of the Welsh Dragon. And then Team England here. We have the proof mark of a little lion. Now these coins I think are stunning in colour. That tiny bit of colour there just really, really makes the entire coin pop. But as soon as this coin dropped in the annual set, I knew, oh, it, it's the, this is the coin of the year for me. I love this Commonwealth Games Birmingham 2022 coin so much that I knew I wanted to get it in silver proof. Now, the box is just beautiful. As you see, that um, B there, that is the a statue that is up in Birmingham at the moment. So you just have a little bit about the coin. Please feel free to pause.
Bon, on va se voir ici. There's the statue there. The Birmingham Library in the background. And 28 and I'm going to take it out of the little box if I can get it out. Can get it? Yeah. Just how stunning does that look in silver? Now this was a belated birthday present from my mum because she'd asked me previously what I wanted for my birthday and I said when this coin comes out this was what I wanted for my birthday. So yes guys, thank you for coming on this uh, little vlog journey with me. And as I said, I have really, really enjoyed filming this and there'll be definitely more in the future. So see you soon guys. For more coins, more pressed pennies, more vlogs, more pocket posts. See you soon, guys. Bye.